guys. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you some of my favorite heavy duty moisturizing balms or ointments that are fantastic for use in the winter time in particular. I alluded to this in my moisturizers for winter video and you guys said you really wanted to hear more about heavy duty ointments and balms. Now, before I get into the products, I want to make a answer a commonly asked question, and that is, can we use these heavy ointments all over our face or will they clog pores? And to answer that, you have to understand that what triggers and exacerbates one person's acne or skin condition is not necessarily true for everyone, so it's really hard to answer that. However, sometimes using really heavy duty thick occlusive ointments on the face, particularly in people who are acne prone, can definitely precipitate a flare of their acne and cause problems. So if that's you, you know, these products that I'm gonna recommend in today's video, you may find that they are best used just on your lips, maybe around your eyes, and to really tough dry patches on the body, like on your elbows, knees, and feet, rather than all over your face. But for some of you out there with really dry skin uh, or with really inflamed skin, you may find that using these heavier ointments is really helpful in getting your skin back to where it needs to be as far as hydration and you really tolerate them well. So it's very individualized, but do know that caveat going in, if you have oily acne prone skin, putting these all over your face, you may not find comfortable. Where these are going to be most useful is uh, for those of you who ask me about windburn or how to deal with really cold uh, winter commuting outdoors and having chapped lips, chapped skin, these are products you're going to want to know about. They will help you out. These are products that can be used to exposed areas on the face as skin protectants. Skin protectants include things like dimethicone, petrolatum, mineral oil. Um, and so these products have those in them. And as another commonly asked question, I always get questions about the safety or integrity of mineral oil and petrolatum. There's a lot of misinformation on the internet about mineral oil and petrolatum in cosmetics. Very safe, have been used for eons and do not contain dangerous chemicals, carcinogens. They're highly, highly processed and refined to be safe. And they, they are probably one of the most commonly used ingredients in dermatology and in dermatologic care. I can tell you with confidence they are safe. All right, so getting into that, my number one product recommendation as an ointment for the skin is going to be Vaseline, just Petrolatum Vaseline. Vaseline is the name brand, but you can just use Petrolatum generic, same thing. Uh, that works great. Very cheap, it's like 99 cents a dollar, I think. Uh, you know, CVS has their own brand, Target has their own brand of, of Vaseline. It doesn't, it doesn't have to be name brand Vaseline, but that is, that's a great one to use. The next one is Vanny Ply. This is a dimethicone skin protectant ointment that likewise is fantastic. It's by the makers of Vanny Cream, a brand that you guys know I love. All free of added fragrance and common irritants. Really great for people with eczema. I mean, all of these that I'm going to mention are. All right, the next two products, um, you know, should come as no surprise to you guys because you know I'm a huge fan of the CeraVe Healing Ointment. This is a petrol, heavy duty petrolatum ointment, 46.5% petrolatum, but it also has hyaluronic acid, which is a humectant, can help uh, deliver hydration into the skin. Coupled with petrolatum, those are two ingredients which work well together. Uh, you've got a humectant, hyaluronic acid, and an occlusive, petrolatum. And this also has ceramides, which can help the skin barrier in restoring itself. I put this on my lips morning and night, all year round, fantastic. But many of you put it all over your face as a heavy duty balm. So I love it, it's great. Um, honestly, they also make CeraVe um, baby healing ointment. And a lot of you guys ask me what the difference between these two are. Ingredient wise, they are very, very similar, if not identical. Um, there is some subtle nuanced differences in the formulation, which honestly, nobody notices. Uh, so if the CeraVe Baby one is less costly to you, uh, go ahead and give that one a whirl. I happen to notice that it is a lot, maybe a little bit thicker 
than the than the healing ointment. So it's a subtle difference in the two products. The baby one here on my baby finger is a lot stiffer than the non-baby healing ointment. So much so that that's about all, you know, I have a hard time actually getting it out of the tube. Um, but otherwise they're pretty similar. Here, we'll just spread some on the back of my hand. This is the regular, goes in quick. And then the ointment is the baby one. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it definitely is a lot stiffer just in texture. It's just a textural difference. Uh, the next product is newer to me, but I adore it. You can get this on Amazon and it is Theraplex Barrier Balm. Oh my gosh, this is fantastic. This is uh, petrolatum admixed with cy cyclomethicone and microcrystalline wax. Cyclomethicone is a silicone, again, Silicones, I've got a video talking about them, very safe ingredients, but it's the combination of the cyclomethicone and the petrolatum in this that makes it just aesthetically a lot more comfortable to put on the skin. It doesn't feel as greasy, oily. It doesn't leave um, as much of a, an oily film. So this one's also really great for on your hands uh, as opposed to like Vaseline, which can be a little bit more greasy and kind of give residue when you touch things. Theraplex uh, Barrier Balm. You can get this on Amazon. I'll list all these down below, you guys. The next one is for those of you in the UK, and I'm not sure what other countries in Europe have access to this, but I know you can get it in the UK, is Cetraben Ointment. Cetraben Ointment is uh, paraffin and some fatty uh, wax alcohols. Uh, very good product, free of added fragrance. Um, the other one, for those of you in Australia at least, and I think maybe the UK as well, is going to be QV's Intensive Ointment. QV's Intensive Ointment is just that. It is very intense. When we're talking about consistency, it is very stiff and very thick. I showed it in my, I have a skincare routine video showing a bunch of QV products, but you'll notice in that video, it is pretty stiff. So just know that going in, it's not as soft as like a CeraVe healing ointment, but it works quite well. Speaking of Australia, I'll just mention this here because I do get a lot of questions about it. There's a product from Australia called Papaw's Ointment. I do not recommend that. I always get questions about it, so I'll put that in here. And the reason I don't recommend that product is that it has Balsam of Peru in it. And Balsam of Peru is fragrance, and it is a very sensitizing fragrance ingredient. So you really don't wanna be putting that on the skin of the lips. It can set you up for an irritant chelitis, which is basically a dermatitis due to irritating ingredients, but it also can cause an allergic contact chelitis, um, and that can be really problematic. I know it is you know, lauded as a cult beauty favorite, but it definitely can cause a lot of problems for people and it's not my favorite. And I can't remember, there was another ingredient in that too that uh, is problematic. Oh yeah, it's got papaya in it. Papaya can be very irritating on the skin in combination with Balsam of Peru, that is a wicked combination of, of sensitizing, irritating ingredients. So I don't recommend that. Uh, sorry, Australia, I think it's like one of your more popular products, but I don't recommend that one. Stick to QV. All right, I've talked about Aveeno's uh, eczema therapy balm in the past, and I love it. And just very similar to that is going to be their Cracked Skin Relief Sika Balm. This is new. It's very similar to the eczema therapy balm, honestly. It is a dimethicone-based skin protectant. It's got colloidal oatmeal in it as well. I've got a video talking about colloidal oatmeal, but that is great in terms of giving hydration to the skin, but also serving as a skin protectant. And Avino does a good job with that. This is free of added fragrance, fantastic. And unlike uh, some of their other products, Avino did not put, um, did not put feverfew in this. So for those of you who are irritated by feverfew or sensitive to it, this is free of that. So I love this. It is very thick and greasy as are all of these. <clears throat> I'm not showing you guys these products like their consistency up close because honestly they all look the same. They're all just thick, uh, thick ointments, very similar to what I showed you with CeraVe. For those of you looking for a cruelty-free ointment or balm for your face, I highly recommend the Skin Fix Eczema Dermatitis Face Balm. This is very similar to many of the Aveeno products in that it has colloidal oatmeal in it. It's free of added fragrance. It does have sweet almond oil in it though. Sweet almond oil is an emollient that some people 
potentially could be irritated by or allergic to. That being said, as I pointed out in other videos, there are there's like one case report out there of a baby who had a problem with sweet almond oil, but otherwise it actually seems to be very well tolerated, particularly in people with eczema prone skin. So I feel okay recommending it and I personally have used this. I love traveling with this. It makes for a great little lip ointment. It is more expensive, but it's a cruelty free option for those of you looking for one. You can get this, I think you can get it at Ulta. I'm not sure. I know you, I want to say you can get it at Sephora. Um, I'll check for you guys and list it down below. But this product, in addition to the sweet almond oil and colloidal oatmeal, it also has shea butter in it. Um, in addition to the shea butter, this also has allantoin in it, which is very soothing. I do notice though, when I use this on my lips, it has a little bit of an oatmeal flavor. You can almost taste the colloidal oatmeal. It doesn't have any added fragrance though, so, so it's a good one. And it's got the Eczema Association Seal of Approval, National Eczema Association. Uh, so I really like it and it's a good, good one to consider. So yeah, those are some of my favorite ointments and balms for in particular in the winter time, if you're dealing with windburn or dry chapped skin. Year round though, they're fantastic on the lips and if you've got dry elbows and knees, they are a game changer. Uh, so comment below on if you've used any of these or if you've got an ointment or balm that you really like. But I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.